Golfing is situated in the Pacific belt of typhoon and highly prone to meteorological phenomena and hazard. channel sir fox learning channel today i would like to present to you hydro meteorological phenomena and hazards our learning target here is to determine the different hydro meteorological hazard and identify the different places prone for hydro meteorological phenomena and hazards Philippines has a tropical and maritime climate. Annually, the country is visited by an average of 20 typhoons, 5 to 9 of which are highly destructive. The Philippines is situated in the Pacific Typhoon Belt, therefore the country is highly prone to hydrometeorological hazards. Oftentimes, multiple hazards occur simultaneously. What is hydrometeorological hazards? What is really hydrometeorological hazard? Hydrometeorological hazards are extreme meteorological and climate phenomena that includes tropical cyclones, thunderstorms, tornado or ipo ipo, and floods. Tropical cyclones are known in various names depending on the country where you live. In the western North Pacific around Philippines, Japan, and China, the storms are known as typhoons. While in the North Atlantic Ocean and the eastern North Pacific, they are referred to as hurricane. Here are the top five destructive typhoons ever hit the country. The country Philippines. Typhoon Haipong. 1881 and Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda in 2013 Tropical Storm Thelma or Uring in 1991 and Typhoon Bofa or Pablo in 2012 and Typhoon Angela in 1867 and lately we have Typhoon Raleigh, which hit uh, Camarini Sor or Pico regions in Tacanguanes, and Typhoon Ulysses. Monsoon is a seasonal wind and rain pattern, and the word monsoon believed to be originated from the Arabic word mausim or season via Portuguese and the Dutch Monsan. There are two known monsoons in the country that occur every year, the summer southwest or habagat and winter northeast monsoon or amihan. Amihan brings cloudless skies and nippy mornings during the dry season, usually October to late March. However, Habagat brings heavy rains and some deadly typhoons usually June to September. Flood is an abnormal progressive rise in the water level of a stream that may result in the overflowing by the water of the normal confines 
of this tree. A flood can vary in size, speed of water, and duration and how long it takes, how heavy, heavy rains has done. which could kill and distract the economy and could kill living organisms, people and other living organisms. Tornado is a narrow, violently rotating column of air that extends from a thunderstorms to the ground. The main cause of tornadoes are thunderstorms. Though here in our country, rarely happens or tornado rarely happens. But still, it occurs from time to time in a year. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na nakatulong po ito sa inyo for your learning. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang i-hit ang subscription button at ang notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Marami pong salamat. Happy learning!